Could the God Particle wipe out the universe? The God Particle is the nickname given to a subatomic particle known as the Higgs boson, which scientists spent decades trying to find after its existence was suggested in the mid-20th century. But when the Higgs boson was finally tracked down, we made a shocking discovery that this elusive particle could one day be responsible for the end of all things. So let's find out why as we ask, could the God Particle wipe out the universe? Number 4. What is it? The Higgs boson has been described by Michio Kaku as the fuse for the explosion which created the universe. More specifically, it is an elementary particle, a quantum excitation of something called the Higgs field, a crucial field within particle physics theory. It gives shape and size to everything that exists, and now we've found it, we're having a lot of fun playing with this most intriguing particle. The Higgs boson was first speculated to exist back in the 1960s by Peter Higgs and Francois Englert when physicists were trying to solve a conundrum of the Big Bang. The original theory was unable to account for particles with mass, so some scientists imagined that every particle had zero mass. That made the math work, but it didn't fit reality, because we know that electrons, quarks, and all elementary particles possess mass. To prove this, go and punch a cat in the face. See, you couldn't do that if mass didn't exist, I think. That may or may not be scientifically accurate. I just hate cats. Anyway, Higgs proposed that the mass of an electron was an illusion. We know that the mass of an electron can appear to change when it passes through a crystal. So, Higgs theorized that the mass of all electrons was a mirage. They have no mass, they just appear to do so because reality exists inside one giant crystal. Or more accurately, a crystal-like substance called the Higgs field. This theory was confirmed in 2012 upon the discovery of the Higgs boson particle by the Large Hadron Collider at the CERN Laboratory in Geneva, Switzerland. But while many people were overjoyed at this momentous breakthrough, Professor Stephen Hawking was not. Number 3. The Unstable Universe Let's do a little experiment at home, shall we? Take both of your thumbs and lick them. Then place your thumbs on the outside corner of each of your eyes. Ready? Now drag the thumbs down the side of your face to the middle of your cheeks and remove. Finished? Great! The next person who enters the room will think you've been crying. And when they ask you why, tell them it's because Stephen Hawking thinks the universe is doomed. Hawking believes in the theory of the Higgs boson doomsday, which predicts that a quantum fluctuation in the Higgs field will one day create a vacuum bubble that expands through space to wipe out the universe. At present, the Higgs boson is around 126 times the mass of a proton. And as luck would have it, this is the exact mass required to prevent the universe from becoming more unstable than Shia LaBeouf at a Black Lives Matter rally. But this stability won't last forever. The Higgs field was created during the formation of our universe, and ever since it has acted as its own energy source, continually changing state to find a perfect balance. The amount of energy required to change states would take a long time to build up, and when it does, it will destroy the universe. However, there's another way the end of days could come about, and the only thing stopping this from happening is sheer, unadulterated luck. Number 2. Random Death Quantum tunneling is a quantum mechanical phenomenon where a particle randomly starts tunneling through a barrier it should ordinarily not be able to pass through. There's no lube required here. Quantum tunneling happens at random, and if it were to take place within the Higgs field, we can say bye-bye to reality. This was something we covered in our recent video which investigated realistic ways you could destroy the universe. One method involved vacuum decay, whereby a single particle of the Higgs field decays down to a fully energyless state, kicking off a vacuum bubble expansion that grows at the speed of light. This energy release caused by this expansion would destroy everything in its path while simultaneously erasing all the physical laws of the universe. 
So if you're about to head into physics class after this video, you may as well set fire to your textbook, strip naked, and smear yourself with peanut butter for all the good it'll do you. The bubble could be one of many such bubbles which will one day erupt across the universe. And the scary part is that several of them might already exist, and they could be on their way towards us right now. These bubbles expand at the speed of light, so we'd never see them coming. A vacuum decay event would hit Earth and destroy all of us in less time than it takes to open a jar of Reese's. We are all doomed. Number 1. A Safe Space The vacuum decay event caused by the Higgs boson particle may not be as much of a threat as we made out in our previous entry. In fact, even Professor Hawking himself thinks that a vacuum decay bubble will only grow large enough to erase the universe in approximately… one Google years. That's 10 followed by 100 zeros. And since that is way more than the number of fingers and toes I have on my body, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that that is a lot of years. The universe has also double-bagged itself against the threat of vacuum decay through the process of expansion. Our universe is currently expanding at a rate that is faster than the speed of light. Space is pulling itself apart and pushing out in every corner of the cosmos. Therefore, since vacuum decay events expand at the speed of light, they may never reach us, because the space between us and the bubble is growing too fast for it to overtake. The only way a vacuum bubble could affect us is if we accidentally created one ourselves inside a Hadron Collider. But this would require a super expensive particle accelerator the size of the Earth, and I think we'd notice if we had one of those. So with time and space both on our side, it seems the threat of an unstable god particle is not something we'll have to worry about anytime soon. However, if it wasn't for the existence of gravity, our universe could have been destroyed by the Higgs before it had even begun. And as yet, we have no answer for how our universe overcame this incredible hurdle. We're going to explore this mystery and the Higgs boson's potential links to dark matter in our bonus video, Mysteries of the God Particle which you can watch in our Patreon page at patreon.com slash strange mysteries. For a $2 a month pledge, which you can cancel at any time, you'll get to watch this and all of our bonus content, which goes deeper and darker into every topic than YouTube allows. If you don't want to donate, then that's bullshit. We know you wanted more. Strange mysteries on YouTube and our Patreon bonus videos weren't enough to quench your search for truth, to give you that sense of awe and wonder again to go past what you thought was the end, to give you the answers you seek, but which only lead to more questions. That's why we just up the stakes. Chemicals of reality. Reality, consciousness, brains. What else is there? Ask yourself that question. Perhaps that's all there really is, but perhaps everything else is found within a place where these ideas, these things, overlap. Some thing, some place that is undefinable. To many people, altering certain chemicals in their brains produces what they would simply call hallucinations. In fact, what we're going to discuss specifically used to be called the businessman's trip, as one could enjoy it. Come down and put your pants back on in the time it takes to eat lunch. It wasn't taken seriously. Well, unless, of course, you started digging. And some people, including us, did. Already, though, to many people, this chemical is special amongst others. Very special. To them, it represents something more meaningful and incredible, as if it's the gateway to the next level of consciousness. The ticket to a higher reality barely explored by most humans. It is the entry point to a new reality, visited by only a select few, whose minds have become enlightened through the use of this exotic substance. For this reason, it's commonly referred to as the spirit molecule. But is its reputation as a mystical mind-opener deserved? Or is it and everything it represents just a load of bullshit? We look at, investigate, and dive deeply into nearly all available research regarding this question, from nearly every angle feasible. And in the course of doing so, stumble upon unexplainable patterns, correlations, and neurological evidence for a reality existing beyond this one. Watch this hour-long Strange Mysteries premium video chemicals of reality, as well as many more to come by becoming an elite premium member of our Patreon at patreon.com slash strange mysteries.